It's both. By returning surplus to earth care and people care, what we do is we promote a system where we supply, we supply by design an abundance of clean air, an abundance of clean water, an abundance of clean food, an abundance of sensible housing, warmth, friendship and community. These are the basic rights of human beings to have these rights. Now, that gives us true wealth. When we redefine wealth in a different way, when we redefine wealth beyond money, we naturally moderate our population and consumption. We set limits, and it's actually a biological effect that we set limits to population, but by intention, we set limits to consumption because we look at the return cycles of what we need to consume to what we need to create in a fertile, abundant situation. And a lot of it involves returning surplus to the systems that allow us to consume what we need. Whether it's food, whether it's community, whether it's water and clean water, whether it's fresh air and not polluting the air, or whether it's housing and the materials we need to build our infrastructure, we aim for most of those, if not all of those, to come from living, resor living resources. Therefore, we have to honour those living resources. And that means returning the surplus. And in itself, that moderates our population. Population booms where people are suffering and where people feel wealthy, or they are genuinely wealthy, because they have that clean air, clean water, clean food, sensible housing, warmth, friendship and community, true wealth, a new education system, and the information that we share gives people a deep understanding of the environment they live in. And that is also true wealth.